Hello everyone! I would like to greet all the students, parents, ministry partners, and teachers here today. This month of October, we are celebrating the United Nations Month and holding the Araling Panglipunan competition. But why are we having these two events? First of all, we are having our competition for the Araling Panglipunan subject. In English, this subject is Social Studies. The term Araling Panglipunan is actually, and I quote, an umbrella term that relates to past events as well as the memory, discovery, collection, organization, presentation, and interpretation of information about these events. This subject is important because it develops one's understanding of the world. We can enrich and broaden our perspectives of current and relevant events by peering through the lens of history. Speaking of learning through history, let's talk about why we celebrate United Nations Day. On October 24 of each year, we celebrate the anniversary of the founding of the United Nations. The United Nations was founded in October 24, 1945, when 50 countries met in San Francisco, California, USA, and banded together to form a group of nations who would work together for world peace. The Philippines is actually one of the original member states. Currently, the United Nations has 193 member countries or states. When the member countries of the United Nations in 1971 declared the founding date a public holiday in their respective nations, the Philippines also followed suit. This is why we celebrate the anniversary of the founding of the United Nations. The holiday takes on different themes every year and this year's theme is Building Back Together for Peace and Prosperity. Now, I'm sure all of us here have been impacted by the global pandemic in some way. It's like everything has been reset. But there is good news. The world is, is slowly recovering and we all need to play our part in building our world back together. The United Nations has helped in battling outbreaks of contagious illnesses before like Ebola, SARS, and the swine flu. I encourage you all to think about the future with optimism and hope and think about how you as an individual will help to build the world back together in your own way. No matter what your views about the United Nations are, we can hopefully all agree that we can each take steps to make the world an even better place with peace and prosperity in our interest. I hope you enjoyed the event and the activities. Have a nice day.